hello guys welcome to another video of microsoft azure in this video we are going to discuss about azure network watcher we will understand what is network watcher we will create a network watcher in azure and we will see how you can uh, use the azure network watcher to troubleshoot connections from the virtual machines or azure application gateway or even the version host in azure so this is a powerful tool which you can use to troubleshoot your connections or even inbound or outbound connection from your virtual machine or to your virtual machine so if you have any issues regarding networking or related to some connectivity you can always use this azure network watcher to troubleshoot the connectivity issues if you see the definition here Azure Network Watcher provides a suite of tools to monitor, diagnose, view metrics and enable or disable logs for Azure infrastructure as a service resources. Okay, that is nothing but virtual machines, application gateway, this type of resources. Okay, you can also create Azure Network Watcher or it will be created by default if you create the virtual machines and all the resources we uh, i mean where network watcher is supported so if you search the network watcher in azure you will find this you can go go ahead and create the network watcher from here okay and we i have another network watcher that is inside istvs this is not created by me this is created by default because i have created one virtual machine inside the istvs region okay so if you create virtual machines network watcher will be created by default you don't need to create everything okay i have created this virtual machine to show you how you can troubleshoot the connection let me open the virtual machine here this could be your virtual machine any virtual machine from where you want to troubleshoot the connection if you have to enable inbound and outbound connection from your virtual machine or to your virtual machine this is the virtual network and subnet in this subnet you can add all the rules that can be inbound and outbound inside this virtual network and subnet to allow or uh, allow or even not allow the traffic from this virtual machine okay there will be one network security group attached to your subnet there you can create the rules and based on these rules only uh, this troubleshooter basically will troubleshoot the connection if that port or that ip address is reachable from your virtual machine or not okay now let me go to the connection troubleshooter type the connection here and inside the here inside this help you will get this connection troubleshoot option okay here from here you will have to troubleshoot the connection if you see the definition here what is this network watcher connection troubleshoot provides the capability to check a direct tcp or icmp connection from a virtual machine application gateway v2 or basin host to a vm fully qualified domain name url or ip address okay so this tool you can use inside a virtual machine application gateway v2 not in the application gateway v1 you can also this uh, use this inside a basin host to check the traffic or check the connectivity to a virtual machine or ftdv url or some ip address okay now let's go ahead here inside source i have virtual machine and virtual machine name pre-selected because i have opened this tool directly from my virtual machine that's why these are pre-selected okay here in the destination either you can select the virtual machine or you can specify the ip address fqdn or url manually inside this box okay so if you want to troubleshoot the connection from one virtual machine to another you can do using this option 
otherwise you can select this option here let me provide some IP here in this box suppose this is my IP address and preferred IP version you can select both IPv4 and IPv6 and keep this as default if you want to troubleshoot this with check the connectivity with TCP protocol you can keep the default else you can select the ICMP if your requirement is to check with the ICMP protocol let it be the TCP and set the destination protocol destination port so suppose you want to check the traffic on this IP address at uh, 8080 port you will have to provide the destination port as 8080 if you have some source port as well you can provide the source port else this is not mandatory here you can provide the type of test which what are the test you want to run that can be connectivity test nsg diagnostics next hop and pod scanner everything is done i have given the ip address here i am given the i have given the port number as well so basically you need the IP address URL or and the port number here to check the connectivity let me let me now click on this run diagnostic test so this will internally run the test this will check all the connectivity and will give you the result here in this and just below this diagnostic test generally it takes time for a minute or couple of minutes and it will show you the result our diagnostic test is complete and you can see this has failed this is expected because i have given some private ip or some random private ip address here which of course will not be reachable from this virtual machine okay because we don't have outbound connectivity on this ip address and you can see the outbound nsg diagnostic has been failed to this ip address at port 8080 because we have not enabled the outbound connectivity at our network security group level if you click on see details you'll get all the details see this is denying all the outbound and our outbound connection has been denied that's why this is this ip address is not reachable at port 8080 80. okay now let me go back and provide a different ip address so suppose this is my new ip address 52. 70.74 or this is some random public IP address so let me see this is reachable or not let me give this 443 port and run the diagnostic test this will check the connectivity at this ip address at 443 port and will give you the result if you see the diagnostic result now this has been successful you can see the outbound nsg is allowed connectivity test is reachable okay this has sent 66 probe and all are passed and zero are failed okay this is showing me the result result for this destination at port number 443 from this virtual machine okay this is a public ip address that's why this is reachable from our virtual machine okay if you click on see details this will this will show you all internet 
allow internet outbound this is enabled that's why this this nsg basically is working you can see this 65001 allow internet outbound is enabled to the destination is internet that's why this rule is working and our connectivity is working to the internet if you go back here and click on connectivity test and see details you will get more details here inside this so this is your virtual machine uh, this is virtual machine ip sorry virtual network ip address and this is the internet ip address so this is showing all the details here it is showing latency and all as well if you see, if you have any errors in some particular connectivity details they, it will show you inside this box errors since we don't have any errors everything is fine and running status status is reachable outgoing outbound nsg diagnostic is also allowed and next hop is also successful okay so this is how you can troubleshoot the connection from a virtual machine even from application gateway or from the basin host using network watcher and connection troubleshoot whenever for the first time you click on uh, you add these details and click on run diagnostic test it will by default will create one network watcher inside your resource group okay so you don't need to create that uh, it the network watcher will be created by default when you click on this run diagnostic test okay you can export this to csv as well and you can even share the connectivity details or logs details to some different team if they want to troubleshoot the issues or connectivity issues from their side or even from your side okay that's it from this video if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel if you have any feedback or suggestions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching